Hello everyone, Kerry the Craft here, that's C-E-R-I, The Crafter, and it is June 2023, and I'm part of um, a challenge run by PM Artist Studio through their Facebook group called Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Group. I will put a link to that in the bottom of the box, uh, in the description box. If you're not already a member, pop on over, ha have a look. So you'll need to answer two questions to get in. It's a wonderfully loving, supporting artistic community with lots of challenges and swaps and information. A lovely place to be. So I'm not going to harp on because this is a preview video. This can't be any more than 10 minutes long. Um, I've already done a full process video of what I made, which I'm about to show you, and that will come out in a couple of days' time. So if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you've got notifications on, it will come across your pathway um, in a couple of days' time. I'm not sure exactly of the date yet. So what did I do? I collaborated with someone called Kylie Koo Studio, based in Scotland, and I'm Kerry the Crafter, based in Wales, and the aim of it was we had to send each other three items. Those three items had to be used in conjunction with anything else we wanted to make a project. So in the production, um, in the process video you will see, Kylie sent me this fabric cover, also a piece of card that's on the inside of this. What else did she send? And, and she sent me um, a packaging piece of paper that she'd actually painted on as well. So those are my three items and I took those, worked them around and I've made them into a fabulous little journal and I absolutely love this. So let's do a really quick flip through but I said um, when, when the other video has launched there will be a link in the description box below that will actually share this. And before I start I must remember that um, if you're watching this preview video it's also going to be linked to everyone else's preview videos who did the same challenge. Please go over and support these guys. They've done some fabulous work and I'm excited to watch what they've done. So let's get on with this before I run out of time. So I've used some sari silk to tie a bow as a closure. There you go. And I actually did sew it into the cover. You'll see that. So this is the paper that um, Kylie Koo sent me. It was a big piece, so I kept one light and one dark. And this was a piece of card. I have trimmed it down slightly, but what I did is I wanted to remember what this challenge was about. So I took the piece of card, beautifully textured, and I used some of the scraps left over from this project and wrote it down there. So you'll see that, and I'll let you have a longer time to look at that when you see the actual process video. So what I did is I came in and I made the journal pages using... Um, gel plate and mark making processes with acrylic paints trying to trying to give a nod to what was actually on the cover so if you see here there's like teardrop shapes in a mint green here so I've tried to replicate that there um, I've just pulled this in I've done black stamping one foam stamps because the stitching is black and some of the stitching on the cover itself was dark as well the only thing I didn't put within the journal itself was the dragonfly which I added to the front just because I like dragonflies. So as you can see we've got a gorgeous little journal here. Those who know me know I normally nearly always use coffee dyed paper so the theme of it was old to new. What I did was I tried to break an old habit of just making naked journals with coffee dyed paper and I went to white pages which played heed to the lace on the front and I decorated the pages inspired by what I'd seen Julie Torrens do with one of her recent journals. I sometimes decorate my pages ahead of time, but I hadn't actually gone in with paints and my gel plates and my stencils and my rubbers and my foam stamps. So this was an opportunity to play and I'm loving the results. So hopefully you enjoyed this. As I said, there is a full absolute process video coming your way in a couple of days time. And I'm excited to hear what you think of this. I'm loving this. And the good thing, we get to keep our own project, so I don't even have to send it away. So all the way to the back. So that's the back page. I put the painted page there as well. I did put um, silver corners on here because it was a fabric cover. I felt it needed a bit more substance to it. I also hand stitched on these little pearls that happen to marry in quite well with the colour of this. Um, I did have an ATC 
that was this background. I don't know where it came from. I don't think the ATC background was mine. It might have been a card that I received and I cut down. It could be a piece of tissue paper that I glued onto an ATC artist trading card. I then heat embossed um, the gold dragonfly onto there. I put lace around it because it was already lace on the cover. So excited for that. I even, if you note, there's pink on here. I did toy with using the cover this way up and putting the dragonfly over that. I decided not to because I like the pink. And then on some of the pages, you watch, I won't be able to find one now. On some of the pages, I did pull that pink in. I bet you I can't find one now. There you go. There's some pink on there. So I did pull the pink into it as well. So hopefully you like the look of that, guys. I, I absolutely loved it. Um, there'll be links in the description box of the process video for all the products I used in this. Um, as I said before, this is just a preview video that will link to all of the other preview videos. I'm not sure how many people were taking part, but I'm really, really excited to see what everyone else has done. And I'm really excited to see what Kylie Kuku has done, actually, with the stuff I sent her. So until next time, um, look out for the process video about two, two or three days time. It will be out. Excited for that. Excited to see this. Thank you, PM Artist Studio, for the opportunity to be part of this collaboration. It was fun. So until next time, I'm Kerry the Crafter. That's C-E-R-I the Crafter. Bye-bye now.